This sofa is so strange. He has a pair of big eyes. What the beauty does will be taken in by his eyes. Every time a beautiful woman takes a bath, she has to lie on the sofa to relax her mood and body. Because the sofa will automatically massage and make our hero and Lily's body extra comfortable. Lily has just moved into her new home. Her boyfriend gave her a sofa as a token of his appreciation. On the backrest of the sofa, there was a pair of very weird eyes, but sitting on it was extremely comfortable, as if there was a tender little hand, gently giving you a massage. So Lily especially liked to lay on this sofa every day. On this night, Lily put her legs on the sofa to watch a movie after taking a bath. But what she didn't know, was that the sofa had always had bad intentions towards her. Inside the couch, there was a soul. In order to be by Lily's side forever, her ex-boyfriend brought in a wizard. He broke his legs and sealed his soul inside the couch. It's horrible to have an ex-boyfriend like that. That morning, Lily opened the door and found a row of small candles on the floor. She followed the candles to the living room, where the breakfasts were placed on the armrests of the sofa. When her boyfriend came back, Lily thought it was a surprise from him and went up to him to make out. The sofa on the other side of the room was furious when she saw this scene. Her boyfriend stole the breakfast he made for her. Under the watchful eye of the sofa, her boyfriend picked up the breakfast and ate a couple of bites. But when he tried to take another one, it fell flat. The boyfriend was a bit depressed. He didn't move. How come the sofa and the breakfast disappeared? And the sofa was totally pissed off. This sofa is too weird. This day, the man was preparing to cook in the kitchen. And the sofa unknowingly came behind him. A pair of cold, cruel eyes staring at the man. And then quietly put down the iron hook violently into the boyfriend's legs. The man never dreamed that he would be attacked by a sofa. The man collapsed in agony, while his girlfriend, upon learning the news, brought the police right to the house, only to find her boyfriend curled up in the bathtub and claiming to have been attacked by a living room couch. The police are incredulous when they hear this and suggest that her boyfriend find a psychiatrist. The next day, the boyfriend's fear did not subside and he looked extremely tired. When he went to the bathroom alone, a spring knocked on the window. The boyfriend went to the window but there was nothing there. Then he opened the window and looked down. He was almost scared to death. The couch was actually coming towards him. The man was so scared that he fell to the ground and crawled out desperately. When he lifted his head, the springs had already come to him. It wasn't long before Lily, lying in bed, heard something in the living room. She grabbed a flashlight and slowly checked it out. The light hit the sofa and suddenly the sand started to move. She was so scared that she called her friend. When her friend arrived, she saw a cute and cuddly sofa. But Lily was still scared, so she moved in with her friend. Two days later, an unfortunate thief broke into Lily's house. What he didn't know was that the sofa was staring coldly at him. The thief realized that a beautiful woman was living in the house, so he got under her blanket and started to get his hands on her. The sofa saw everything the thief did. The sofa secretly brought an iron and smashed it directly onto the sofa, killing the thief on the spot. The next day, my best friend came over to get Lily's clothes, and when she was about to go into the bedroom, she suddenly saw a strange man lying on the floor. The other side of the man seemed to be being dragged. My best friend quietly poked her head out and was shocked on the spot. She witnessed the sofa killing process. Her mind went blank. She slowly backed up bit by bit and suddenly stepped on a cliff by accident. When she looked up again, the sofa was staring at her coldly and she was so scared that she turned her head and ran away. Unexpectedly, the couch moves fast and closes the door before her. She had to hide in the restroom. The sofa is staring at her from outside the door. She was forced to jump and fell into the trash can. Have you ever seen such a horrible couch? Not only does he kill people, he also disposes of the bodies himself. The police found Lily and went to Lily's house to investigate, but only found the body of the burglar. Lily was horrified. Suddenly the couch spoke. <laughs> Lily was so scared that she ran away. When she went out and looked upstairs, there was her ex-boyfriend's figure on the window. Lily was so scared that she called a witch for help. The witch said that she was cursed by a demonic couple and that her ex-boyfriend was sealed in the sofa and that the only way to destroy the sofa demon was to use fire. Lily went to get rid of the couch by herself. She poured a tank of gasoline on the floor. The couch stared at her blankly. Then she took out a match, then another match, and so on, and the whole box of matches was gone. Lily broke down. The couch stood up and was about to attack Lily. Suddenly, shots rang out. The police arrived just in time. The couch collapsed on the spot. The story doesn't end here. The sofa's demise lifted the seal. An old woman dragged Lily into the restroom, and she came out in full bloom. She even asked the police to come to her house. The cop took a sip of poison coffee and collapsed on the spot, thus exchanging his soul with the sofa next to him. And the demonic couple managed to complete their reincarnation. By the time her best friend arrived, she found Lily had been sealed in the sofa. The story ends here.
This is the 2019 New Zealand horror movie Killer Sofa. In order to be by Lily's side all the time, her ex-boyfriend sealed his soul into the sofa and watched Lily strip and bathe in front of her eyes every day. Lily lies on the sofa and enjoys herself every day, but the pleasure is always short-lived. The sofa eventually reveals its true nature and kills all the people who like Lily and is eventually shot by the police. Lily was also swapped by the demon sealed by the sofa and died alone in the sofa. This story tells us that love is also love, and we have to stay away from perverted love in order to live longer. I am Bulldog Movie. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment and subscribe to my channel. We'll see you next time.